here's a bigger one. Let's let's see. This one's a little bit bigger. Let's get slinks over here. Come here, slinky, slinky. See now this has got a wider bone. Look at this, right down, right down. Not a problem for slinky. Hey, what's going on? Good morning, everybody. Ken here. Beautiful morning, isn't it? And uh, today is the first day of the rest of yours and mine and everyone else's life. And today is also the first time we're going to be doing an Ask Camp Cannon on Thursday. So welcome to the new day. Uh, new day, new world. <clears throat> no, same world. But uh, here we go. So today's question comes from Bob Lamb Lambert. Lambert. And Bob asks, Cannon. How big is too big a prey item, or food item, to feed your monitor lizard slinky? Well, pretty good uh, video today because turns out we got some pretty big items to feed slinks. Um, we're of course talking about some chicken that I was able to proc uh, procure from my friends at Bush Wildlife. I'm gonna get you guys set up right here. He can smell the chicken. Can you smell what the chicken is? It's going to be good. All right, so uh, first thing about their anatomy. Now, uh, good old, he, he smells the chicken on my hands. So it's uh, something I don't want to get bit doing. But what we're going to do is show you guys some big pieces of chicken. Now, this has got bone in it. It's breast with the bone. Slinky, Slinky, come here. Slinky, there it is, there it is. You see how excited he gets? He loves to eat chicken. Now, similar to snakes, these lizards also have uh, flexible jaws, but the jaws are flexible at the bases here where they attach at the joint, not in the front in the case of snakes. And so that allows the, the back of their mouth to open up really wide to accommodate food of a larger size. Now, they don't normally, or he doesn't all the time get chicken like this, but when it's available, I feed it to him. And since it has the bone in it, I'm happy to do that. Come on, Slinks. There you go, and he's such a good boy. I love the way this guy, would... look how he gobbled that right up, no problem. I'm also gonna do a pretty heavy, hardcore feeding. I'm gonna really load this sucker up. I wanna make sure that he's fat and happy, uh, and that's what we're gonna do. Come on, whoa, oh, I missed that one. Uh, one of the things you don't wanna do is get bit by Slinky. That's no fun. We definitely don't wanna take a bite from this animal. Uh, but he is a very cool lizard, and as you can see, he has a good feed response, but I'm able to do this by hand. Come here, Slinks. Slinky. Come on. Nice and easy. There you go. See how nice and easy it is? And watch again. You see how the jaws spread out? Very, very indicative of what this guy does. So I like to feed them um, prey that might be just a little bit larger than his jaws. Uh, for the base of his jaw. Obviously, look at the neck. It's similar to a snake. You don't want to feed a snake anything larger than the biggest part of the snake. But with the with slinks, I like to go a little bit thicker, uh, the thickness of the neck, because I really think that's a safe way to, to kind of manage it. Now, they can eat bigger, and they digest bone and uh, muscle and everything. They're very, very similar to snakes in that regard, in which they can really... Uh, digest very well um, the food items, the prey items. These guys, now here's a bigger one. Let's let's see. This one's a little bit bigger. Let's get slinks over here. Come here, slinky, slinky. See, now this has got a wider bone, okay? But I wanna show you guys, he'll fold that bone or he'll actually break the bone. Look at this, right down, right down. Not a problem for slinky. Um, I, like I said, I'm loading them up because I want to give him a really good feed. Slinks, he gets one down, takes another. So this will be a pretty good meal. He won't need to eat for, I'm gonna probably lay off him for about a week and let him really just digest this meal. See that? And that's also something that monitor lizards will do. You've seen Komodo dragons on documentaries. They can eat deer, they'll eat a whole deer leg, eat a whole monkey, stuff it right down. Um, and they gorge themselves because they don't know when they'll get another meal or kill. Hey guys, Tom here. Just want to interrupt this video to thank these amazing, amazing supporters of ours. Thank you so much guys for always being there for us. A special shout out this week goes to Ross Parnagian. You guys are the best. 
Thank you so much for being on Patreon. Now, back to Kenan. Um, so this one, you can see, he might have to rub it. And that way, he'll be able to break the bone and swallow it. Look, I think he should be able to get this. And those digestive enzymes will have no problem digesting his food. See, he's going to try and rub it. I wish he would rub it on the rock. That's going to work better for him. But here he goes. He just kind of thrusts it back, pushes his head forward, and thrusts back the food. Once it gets past that one part of the jaw, it'll go right down. He's trying to manipulate it. And I'm not worried at all, guys. And if he has a problem with it, what he'll do is he can actually regurgitate it because it's really not even far down in his throat. And then he'll try and arrange it a different way. So don't sweat it, everybody. Slinky's fine. I just wanted to show you just how, look at that. He pushed it right down. He got it right through. Now we should have no problem here in a minute. Watch this. That is incredible. We've seen Slinky eat some large meals before. But this was just a great opportunity for an Ask Camp Kenan to really show you guys how these reptiles deal with larger prey items. Um, they will tear with their claws. Sometimes it'll be a communal kill with water monitors. Oh, and I should also mention, you see his tongue? He's actually still able to breathe while he's got that in his mouth. So don't sweat it. Look at that. There it is. All done. Now push down with his neck. So what I was going to say is they'll communally kill something or one animal might kill it, kill a prey item, and then its stench, uh, the other lizards will find it with their forked tongue and they communally eat the prey item and rip it apart together. Uh, and that's kind of like a community feed and that will certainly help them to uh, break it into smaller pieces. We've seen that with water monitors. We see that with Komodo dragons uh, and some lacies will do that. Uh, so there you go. That's a pretty good feed for slinks. So he's going to go ahead. We're going to let him do his thing. He's still pushing that down his throat. And those digestive enzymes are going to really get to work. So we're going to let Slinky just do his thing and relax. And that's usually what these animals will do. They get nice and fat. And then they'll lay in the sun and bask. And that's what enables them, those high temperatures of basking, enable them to really... Um, to really digest this food. They have to have high temperatures for basking. And look at Slinky. What a beautiful animal, huh? So there you go, Bob. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, pretty fun video. We got it done. Uh, I love these animals. They're beautiful. And you could see he was well behaved even with all that food there. I think he's had enough. I lost count. I don't even know how much. I'm going to have to watch this video back to see how much Slinky ate. But he's ate quite a bit. And now it's up for that digestive system in his stomach and intestines to do the rest. Lots of stomach acids, as I've mentioned, with these lizards, much like snakes. And uh, there you have it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope we learned something. And uh, Slinky is certainly the man here at Camp Kennan, one of my favorite animals. And thanks, Slinks, for helping us out with this Ask Camp Kennan. Don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. And uh, go on over to Patreon. Thanks so much for your support. Bob, thank you. And uh, there you have it. Another fun video where we learn something about some amazing animals to see how they're adapted to get along in the world without forks and knives. <laughs> All right, man. I got to get breakfast myself. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.